Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be reviewing the Layton sofa. It's such a high-end sofa with adjustable backrests. It's uh, specific for those big living rooms where you are gonna, you're going to place your sofa in the middle of the living room. And so let's dive in into its details and all its comfort features. We said it's perfect in the middle of the, of the room because it's beautiful from the back also, but also because I can sit in the front. I can have, uh, let's say, a uh, standing uh, dinner uh, with finger food and I can have all my friends coming over and I can have a friend sitting on the back side, sitting in here on the corner and we can have conversation. There could be multiple people standing and others sitting. And of course, it's a comfortable sofa when you, when you sit on your own like this. It has a reasonably firm support. I think this is quite normal with these uh, big surfaces with a flat cushion. It's good for it to be firm. Otherwise, the, the filling and also the fabric or the leather, whatever, would move too much. This is, this is totally normal. We have the situation of the, of the low back and this kind of, this is not really an armrest, but it looks like an armrest. And when I sit like this, it's, it's, this is the, the sort of position where you find it most comfortable. And its special feature is the fact that I can move the back cushion backwards. When I want to raise my legs, I could have sliding seats or I can have an adjustable backrest. There are different approaches. Uh, of course, when I have sliding seats, I have a fixed depth on the back and I have the seat that comes out on the front. In this situation, I have a standard depth of 120 centimeters, which is big in, in comparison to other sofas, and I have 10 centimeters more when, when, I, when I move the backrest backwards. So it becomes a total of 130, which forces me, well, either to place the sofa in the middle of the room, or if I place it against the wall, I must consider an overall depth of 130, because there are situations where its depth becomes 130. So in this situation, well, of course, it's, it's a different sitting style. Normally, this is the way uh, you would sit. And uh, well, now I've moved one backrest only, uh, but if I, move, if I move them the others as well, it becomes a huge surface for your family, friends, partners, whatever you want to enjoy comfort. And you can imagine, well, of the, this, this uh, backrest also move on the other, and uh, it's absolutely gigantic. And uh, well, it's so uh, welcoming. So we have described, described its comfort features. Let's describe, describe its design. And what uh, we get straight away is that these huge seats are divided into bands because we have these tiny, tiny gaps. These tiny, tiny gaps, they have, well, there are, dif are different types. There are, there's these and these, which actually hide the mechanism which allows to move the back, the backrest. You normally don't see it. Now I'm keeping it raised, so you do perceive it, but when it's down, you don't perceive it at all. These Two bands actually hide the mechanism in the middle, the same here, while these, this is actually a design feature because it could have been kept as a single surface, but in order to, let's say, convey order in the overall design, there, there has been this uh, gap, so you do perceive uh, these four parts, one, two, three, four, and then you get towards the uh, corner element. Uh, another aspect in terms of the design it's, it's that it has a very high feet. Most often high feet are made of metal and they have a thin design. Here we have these uh, thick solid wood feet, okay, which can be lacquer in different shades. We do perceive them on the front. You don't perceive it at all in the corner element because the corner element has these sort of feet in the back and then it's supported by the side elements. And you also do perceive it very well from the side here. And I do like these side feet even more than the front ones, because the front ones, well, they look nice, but this is astounding because you do perceive it to raise above this lower line and this rounded shape, well, it really adds value to the overall design. And since we are here, well, we do perceive the 
two colors nature of this sofa. Of course, we can have it made in a single color, and no problem at all, and it's very uh, refined and sleek in a single color. But, uh, well, we have the chance of customizing the upper, uh, well, the main surfaces and the side bands of the seats and the side bands of the backrests. And uh, we can uh, keep the same approach, for example, with these very specific, uh, specific scatter cushions, which recall the two materials that we have chosen. And, uh, of course, this allows for such a high degree of customization. More about the corner element. Well, you know the corner, of course, it is very comfortable. And uh, I can tell you that it has the same shape and dimensions of uh, the peninsula element. And this leads us to talk about all the different compositions that you can create. You can have linear compositions up to huge dimensions. And for this reason, you can choose whether you want it to travel, travel pre-assembled or divided into pieces. Because you know, when you move a piece which can be like three meters by 120, you must take into consideration the possibility of actually moving this piece into your house. And uh, uh, we then, of course, we have corner compositions like these, uh, compositions with an open terminal, compositions with uh, a peninsula. And the, the, the most interesting peninsula actually has this shape. It is 160 by 160 with this shape that we see here. And we move also this element here. And you can perceive how, how huge and amazing it is. Well, the opening that gets created there, it's, uh, well, of course, you must not lay there, otherwise you would fall. But if you imagine it to perceive it from the other side, you perceive how beautiful this piece is when you place it into the middle of a, uh, of a room, of a big room. And here we see, well, of course, I am wearing shoes. I cannot get to the best possible comfort. But, well, this, uh, this is really amazing. We can customize the Layton sofa with every material of our collection. Fabrics, four letters, leather, natural leathers. Here we have it in fabric and with these two colors combination. And, uh, we get this cutter cushion, which, by the way, is very soft. And I do like it in combination with the very firm support of the seats. Okay, we, here we get to see the two materials that we've chosen here in the showroom. And we have the Valentino fabric. It's uh, AIN fabric uh, with this uh, multi-fiber look, uh, with these uh, lines that you do perceive. You have multiple colors. Uh, it doesn't have special features like anti-stain or machine washable, things like that. Uh, but it's, it's a good eye and fabric, no, nothing more. Uh, and here we get to see the Ambassador microfiber that we've described in multiple reviews recently. And uh, it fits very well in combination. Well, this is a, this kind of uh, Nabuk effect, uh, very, uh, this writing effect that you perceive on the microfiber. And it matches very well with a fabric with an interwoven look like this. And of, also this one is available in many colors, there are 90, 93 colors, so you have loads of combinations. So we've come to the end of today's product review about the Layton sofa with adjustable backrests. I must add that this uh, collection is handmade in Brianza by very skilled artisans. We are from Brianza, it is in the north of Italy between, between Milano and Como. There's a, an historic furniture district and we still have much of our collection, many of our collections made here. And this is a good example of the skills that we still have in the area. So I hope that you, like, uh, you liked this review, that you liked the product. Please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps and um, pushes us to move forward. And see you next time. Bye-bye.